Hello guys, it's Yukule a few months ago, few, few, few months ago. So I made uh, this um, time lapse tutorial and um, about laptop, modeling laptop, and um, you guys didn't like it and um, you want me to make a slow one. So I'm gonna make a comprehensive way of modeling laptop really today. So I'll go to view um, image plane and um, import image. So I so this is it i can scale it up actually to have a very large and um, you know whatever you want to call it so i don't know what i'm saying what am i saying i think this is a deal so i'm just gonna disable this and um, i can create my cube now but i can actually select this guy then um, create some create some layer then i can make it a reference so that i don't click it so I will create my cube here, then scale it up to somewhere like that. I can pick wireframe so that I can see it clearly. So, and then now I can take it back to somewhere like that and bring it down a bit uh, to some something like that. So I think I'm cool now. So I'm very, very sure this is what I would have here. So I can bring it down, so like so. So I don't know how thick um, that um, laptop is, but I think I'm cool with what I have here. So I can um, go to edge mode, select the edge here, and um, I can select the edge here, and I can select the edge here, and I can select the edge here. Then I can shift right click and go to bevel edges. So I've beveled the edges now, so I can increase the segments. So let's go to this point and um, can increase the segment to like that so, um, I mean the fraction now increase the segments I think um, yes I think it's cool it can be you know 100% uh, accurate but at least you get the concept of what we're trying to make here so I think I'm cool now I can go back to my object mode and then um, from there I can <coughs> sorry so um, what I really want to do is duplicate this guy this main guy here I've duplicated this guy then like I'm moving up like so then I'm um, scale down then I can move it to this side if you get what I'm saying or what I'm doing you can have kind of um, you know this shape this particular shape you know I can scale this one up like this so I have this shape here so let me move this one down so like so so I can duplicate this guy and move him to the side. So now the next thing now is um, from what I have here. I can bring this guy down like so. Yeah. So um, the next thing now is I want to use this uh, main guy, this small guy to chop out this guy. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. So um, and um, to do that, I can actually just go to edge mode. And double click and let's see if it will select the whole edges no it did not it did not so what i can do again now is select the whole thing here and then shift and select the center so that i'm left with um the center one so you can now look before i do that let me um, um just hide this man here so yes so what did I do the other time? So I'll go back to my edge mode. Um, I still have it tangled. So now going back to my perspective view, I can actually just um, shift right click and then uh, bevel edges. So just like what I did the other time, I can make it smoother. So um, reduce this to something like 0.3 um, and um, increase the segments. So something like that. So I'll go back to object mode and um, take back my body, main body. Let me rename this to um, um, board. I don't know if I got that right. So um, shift H to bring it back in. But let me select this and select this and duplicate and move it to that side. Then now I can actually just um, this one first, step, this one, then mesh and uh, difference yeah this is exactly what i want you can see that is what we want to achieve so the next thing now is um to select this guy and um actually um this down this below 
can actually just um, select that like like select the whole thing like this and I press F then shift select the center then shift right click and bevel and then bevel I can actually go to um, point 0.4 point, um, point 0.3 so increase this segment so we can have um, a man like that so let's go back to perspective view and um, see what we have now scale it down more like like so then bring it down like so so um i have um, the base now so the next thing now this should be very 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 easy um we can actually uh, this other guy the other time this small little parts we can bring him back here and uh, to this place and um, you scale um let's scale it like so and then move it like so so like that like something like that and uh, a little bit bigger so like so so now you select um vertex go to vertex mode and move the whole thing to the side don't scale this time around do not scale then i can move this one down to this point yes i think i'm cool now so um i'm good now so the next thing now is uh, i can actually bring this down like that and um, um it'll bring it down a, a little bit little, just a little bit to something like that a little bit. yeah so uh, let me check it from here i can actually you see that it's just touching like that so um from what i did the other time i would select this guy shift select this guy and um uh, mesh and um Boolean and um, difference. Yes, that is what we did the other time. So this is what I want. Now it is time to make the um, the buttons. So um, how to make the buttons? So I'm just gonna create this guy here and um, move it here to like so. Um, let's zoom up um, and scale it down like so. It's like so. Um, something like that so now I can go to this point and um, zoom zoom in um, scale it down then raise it up let me raise it up raise it up like that to like that so like I've been doing I'll go to edge mode select the edge here shift to select the one shift select and the, the last one then shift right click and go to bevel edges now I can go to points um, two this time around, um, and then I can increase the segment to something like that. I think I'm cool. So that is um, what I want now. So I can actually go closer to this guy, then select um, um, face and delete that face. We don't need that face. Um, now I can uh, select, um, what am I saying? So um, the next thing now is let me just scale it down a bit and take it down um, to like that. But then I might want to have something here also. Um, I'm just going to go to this point um, as I've been doing. Select the whole thing here, shift select the center one and shift right click and bevel. So what we're trying to do is just to make everything look smoother, if you understand what I'm saying. So uh, I think I'm good with what I have here. Yeah, it's pretty much what I want. Yes, if you understand what I'm saying. So I don't want it to, you know. So I can scale it down more, then take it down, so like so. Or I can actually scale it up, I'm confused. Don't mind me. So um, that is it. So control um, control D, move it down to this other side. And now I can now start shift D, shift D, shift D.
now so i have another button here i have another button here so um how i'm gonna make this um, is by making a cylinder then um, rotate it here like this 90 then um, i can scale it down like so and then take it here so um, scale it down more and um, scale it up like this then readjust so, so I have it like that um, like so so uh, the next thing now um, is um, to just bring the guy up then um, from the side um, face mode then select the faces here then check it up then um, scale it down so like so 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 I can select the um, the edges here and um, let's see what we have here so I can scale it down um, um, extrude rather so I have the extrude now so I can bring it down so like so let's see what we have here So I'm bringing it down. So what I really want to do now is um, <clears throat> I want to have the shape here. So what I would do is um, just take this one up, um, select this guy, then um, rotate it about 180, 180. So I can take it down, so like so. Um, you go to edit mesh fill hole i'm looking for fill hole please help me with it fill 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 hole is it mesh tool or mesh fill hole so fill the hole now so uh, select this main guy and select, shift select this and mesh and uh, difference so yes that is what i want now if i break this guy down now so I can scale it down a little bit so that we can see the shape it's coming from. So that is it. So I can select the edges here and um, the edges here. Shift right click and um, bevel and then. Um, not too much and, uh, so something like that so thank you so um so that is um the power button so that is the power button so um we are cool the next thing now is to create um the what's it called the blade the screen sorry the screen so i have this man here and i can bring him here or duplicate and bring him to the side and let's see yeah so like so so take it up and then um, what i can do here is um i can actually just make it tiny yes so um i'll select this um or you can actually just go like like this then um, go to the center shift and select deselect the center and um, i think i'm cool now right click shift right click and bevel and after your bevel you can increase um, this and um, increase the and um, this something like that something like that because looking at um this shape here you can see that's more like what i'm i'm trying to make now so um this is the cov cover now so if um this is um this is the edge um the rotating edge so or the rotation edge so i can press um go to modify center pivots centered already so now i can press d and um v then move it to down to the edge here is it not going is it not going 
okay d then x then let's see so i think i have it here so now if i um rotate this guy it should rotate about um that place that we want so i can go here and say minus 90 so minus 90 and um, I can bring it down yes 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 that is what I want so um, this can go back to zero like so oops just broke it so um, now Um, this man too can make him tiny minus 90 so okay okay so um the next thing i've forgotten before i move on is um to create um, this 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 so that's easy to make actually i can easily just bring this man here duplicate and bring him here down here and then um, i can just uh, see what is going on here so you can scale it down so like something like that shift right click and insert edge loop insert edge loop two uh, insert edge loop two insert edge loop two so a uh, multi core two so can select this one here and select this guy here. And press enter so it should be easy to cut now so select this this man here and then select this man here and so now I can select the whole thing here this is here and delete them delete this one also so So now another thing to do is um, to get rid of this place is to actually select this thing again and uh, something like that. Pressing shift, I have to press shift to get that place done like that. So press and um, now I can easily select the whole thing here then that is all so now I uh, can go to modify and um, freeze transformation and then modify again and center pivot center pivot so now um, let's go to edit edit all by delete all by type and history so that we can you know um, save and uh, so oh. Oh. yeah it actually works so fill all box. So now I can now say um, I want to rotate this guy about 180, and I'm moving here. Um, let's down. So um, let's press D, V, and um, move this thing to the side. Then I can mirror this guy here. And um, mirror, 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 bridge, border, 
match border no bridge border no do not and um, not an angle no uh, flip uv uh, offsets cut geometry no so um, now uh, let's see okay sir Benz uh most of one that okay. so um now I can now separate then I can select this man here um, um, um go to modify um center pivot and move him to this side it's so like so so um think I'm cool now so that is what I want that is what I want so we have the whole thing all set up now.